Hey, hey, it's movie review time! Hey everybody, welcome back to our next movie review. Today we are reviewing the movie... Jezebel. Jezebel. 2014, uh, directed by Kevin Gretart and written by Robert Ben Grant, starring Sarah Snook, Mark Weber, Joel Carter, and uh, David Andrews. So, um, it, it's you took the plot. You're doing better than I do. Okay. It starts out where she gets into a horrific accident, and she needs to move back in with her father in Louisiana. She is not, she doesn't know her father very well. She's wheelchair bound and she cannot go up the stairs. So she ends up sleeping in her dead mother's bedroom. And then there, you go from there. There's a lot of exposition there as to who her mother was. And uh, you're not sure whether her mother was insane or not. And it's going down a particular path to where you think you kind of know where it's going. They find bizarre things in the swamp and um, rumors about what's going on in the small town. And um, it was it was getting... It makes you believe one thing and, and you're, you think you have it figured out. And then all of a sudden it takes this twist. Okay, which is great. Love movies with twist endings. Yeah. But when they finally get to the point where they explain it, it was kind of, it was kind of hammered at you, slammed at you. It's, it's like it took this twist that came out of nowhere, which you end up going, yeah, okay. So at that point, I thought it was a great movie. When the twist came, it became just a confusing movie, a bit. It, to me, it wasn't confusing. Um, it wasn't what I was expecting, but it was confusing. I don't like the way. It ended overall, though. Right. Neither do I. I would have rather have seen a different ending. But yeah. good. acting was very good. Very good acting. Uh, it's Sarah Snook, who I've never heard of before, did a brilliant job, I thought. Oh, is that the daughter? That's uh, yes. It was yeah. The, the daughter. Yeah. She she was a she was a very she did very good. She I don't know what else she has done. Um, but she was very good in this movie, and um, I recommend the movie. Some people may like the ending. Um, if you like that kind of ending. Yeah. See, so yeah, it's our personal yeah. opinion. That yeah. We, we weren't happy with the ending, but we like a particular type of ending because we're idiots. I don't know. We, we <laughs> just, it's just certain kind of endings make me unhappy. Yeah. So, but, so, how many stars for you? I would give it a three, solid three. I say four. Even though I didn't like the ending, I did like the whole storyline. Um, feel of the movie was very spooky. Yeah. Uh, they, yeah. There's a lot of, uh, of mistakes in it, though. Like, uh, you see the guy driving around in a, in a car that, with California plates on it with no explanation. Uh, they pull up in a boat that says North Carolina on it, which um, it was just where it was actually filmed because apparently they couldn't find a location in Louisiana that fit what they were looking for. But the California plates kind of flew me off, uh, threw me off. So. Yeah. Well, they did even say that um, when you look up the review online that, you know, they didn't go through great lengths to make those corrections. But, right. but I do give it a four out of five, and I do think it is worth watching. Yeah. So if any of you watch the movie Jezebel, um, let us know what you guys think. And that's our movie review for today. And we will catch you next time. Bye-bye.